Okay, so here we are on part two of the castle. What I'm going to do for right now is just turn off my 3D axis by clicking on view and clicking axis just to remove them for my own sakes. Okay, so there's a couple of things we're going to be doing today in castle part two. We're going to be creating a component, moving a component moving a copy of that component, making multiple copies of the component, and rotating an object. And this technique it can carry you across to all other components that you want to make in future in SketchUp. So those components that we're going to be making today are the wall blocks that sit on top of a castle wall. So what we need to do firstly is create it for in a 2D surface and extrude it into a 3D object. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle, choose my rectangle tool, sorry, click on rectangle, click the start point, and the size of our rectangle is going to be 18 inches, as you can see in the dimensions in the bottom right, comma, 48 inches. And I'll press enter. And there you can see that this is much smaller than the original castle. And that's because they are just little small wall blocks that will sit atop the castle wall. Right now, it's 2D. We want to convert it into 3D. We need to use the push pull tool. Click on the surface and pull it up 24 inches. Now, this time it's inches, guys, not in feet. So there we have our wall block. And what we're going to do is make this into a component. Okay, so that we're creating a component. So we want to click on this, highlight the whole thing, click edit, and down here you see make a component. We want to name this wall block. Quite simple, and create. Now next time you click on it, the entire thing will be selected. It is now one piece, not just a series of rectangles. Okay, so what we want to be doing is making a copy of that. So if you want to make a copy, you can click on the Move tool, hold down Control, and make a copy. I'm going to move this copy of the block up here and snap it to the point on the castle wall. Now we want to make these blocks along the entire wall of the castle. And I don't really want to draw them all one by one, nor do you, so we are going to be making multiple copies of this component and moving them all at once. Okay, it'll make your life a lot easier. So I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to just explain, sorry, before I do that, I'm going to explain that there's going to be blocks all along this wall right up to this point here. We want to snap on there also. So I'm going to hold down Control, click on the bottom corner, and drag it across. And when it snaps on to the end point, click again. Okay. Let me just do that once more. So I'm going to Hold down control, click on the end point, and line it up with the bottom point. Now I also want to make a series of them along that wall, okay? And I've previously worked out the mathematics to that. I'm going to tell you what it is today. We can fit in about, we're going to use the number 9 in the array, 9 more copies. So we're going to use the, if you look down in the typing bar in the bottom right, I'm going to do the forward slash 9 okay and press enter and then if you look at the screen we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 extra copies and then the tenth one in the end here okay so that saved us a lot of time rather than drawing them all one by one or moving them all one by one we can mass produce them and this is called an array when you make multiple copies like that. That is an array. Now we just want to line them up on the opposite wall. 
So to do that, we're going to click on each one, click select. I'm going to hold down the shift key as I'm clicking on each of these. And you may have guessed, I'm going to use the control move tool and move them over to the side. So I'm going to hold down the control key. Oh, I need to choose the move tool first. Hold down control. Click on this corner because I want it to snap on here. You can see the red guideline appearing already. So I'm going to click on this bottom corner. Again, my other hand is on control. And I want it to snap onto this end point here. So just like that, we have our wall blocks on both sides of the castle. Now we just need the two narrow sides. To do that, we're going to need to move our component. Uh, right now we need to rotate it 90 degrees. To do that, I'm going to use the Rotate tool. I'm going to click on an endpoint and click on another endpoint and rotate it 90 degrees. I can then use the Move tool again and Control to move a copy up onto my wall here. I'm going to just move it here and then fix that by myself by moving it over here. This one I can delete. Use my eraser to, to remove that one. I'm going to hold down the control key, click on that, move it across, press enter, and like I did previously with the forward slash nine, I'm going to do forward slash again and use the number four because this is a much narrower one. Now all I need to do is bring these wall blocks over to the far end, and again I'm going to use the Select tool, the black cursor. I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on each of these five wall blocks that I want to bring over to the far side. I'm going to orbit myself around. I'll use the pan tool, whatever you need to do to see it better for yourself. And now I'm going to use the move tool. And I want to bring a copy of these five over onto this wall. So I'm going to hold down and control, click on them. Bring them across, allow it to snap on, and press enter. And there we have our wall blocks atop our castle wall. And if you wanted to now, you could remove this original component down here. And that is how you create a component, how you move a component, how you move a copy of a component, make co multiple copies of a component, rotate an object, and create an array. Thank you.